When Continental Airlines Flight 3407 crashed in a Buffalo suburb on an, on an icy night in February, serious questions were raised about the pilot's actions and whether anything could have been done to prevent that tragedy. This week, the House Aviation Subcommittee heard from a panel of experts, including one man who lost his daughter on that flight. It's not just Colgan Airlines and Continental Airlines that's uh, got the problems these days. It's the industry. And we're just trying to make it safer for the flying public. Um, it's too late to help my daughter and a lot of the families here. Um, it's just we don't want to see anybody else have to go through it unnecessarily. Congressman John Bocheri from Ohio is a member of that House committee, and he joins us now live from Cleveland. Congressman, thank you for your time today. Uh, tell us what's being done. As that gentleman said, and I've talked to other member, members of families uh, and loved ones who lost somebody on that flight, what is being done on the Hill to make sure it doesn't happen again? Well, Shannon, take it on the whole. Domestic air travel is very, very safe. However, over the last six accidents, we've seen a growing trend where the regional airlines, where they have met and exceeded most of the quality and standards put out by the FAA, have beginning to start to shoot towards the minimums. And that is completely unacceptable. In this case, in the Buffalo crash, we have a situation that was profoundly tragic, but completely avoidable, in my opinion, because the air crew was not trained how to recover from a full stall. When they lost their situational awareness and essentially the airplane stopped flying, they were not able to recover because their training syllabus from Colgan Air didn't train them how to recover from this incident. And Congressman, I believe you are a pilot as well, so you know better than most of us uh, about the fatigue and, and the mental alertness that you need to have, that, that some of these pilots in the regional carriers don't always have the same opportunities for resting and for rules and experience. Uh, tell us the difference between some of these regional airlines and the bigger name uh, airlines that we would recognize and, and why pilot standards are so different. Well, we're going to change them so that uh, Congress mandates that the FAA makes those training standards even and equal so that they don't, don't just have to shoot for the minimums. There's 60, oh, nearly 70 regional air carriers in the United States. They travel uh, to various cities across the country. 161 million passengers fly uh, on the nearly 5 million flights every year. So we want to make sure that they constitute uh, the same training standards that uh, are met by the, the larger aircraft carriers. And we want to make certain that this is done very soon in the United States Congress, and we're pushing to make those standards equal. And I know that uh, there were some concerns that part of the funding and other mechanisms that have to get through the Senate uh, were in the Senate Finance Committee, where obviously they've been very, very busy with health care. Uh, are you hopeful that all of this aviation-related uh, funding and safety uh, proposals will get through? I'm confident that they will. And, you know, the NTSB since 1978 has been asking the FAA to ha incorporate these types of training standards so that we can avoid a situation like we got in Buffalo uh, over the next uh, few years. And we want to make sure that they follow through with that. Uh, I will make sure that not only when I buy a ticket from Continental that I fly with Continental and their prescribed air carriers, but to make sure that this is transparent in the process. Uh, this is something that members of Congress are trying to do, and this legislation will have the appropriate fees, the appropriate training and everything prescribed to make our uh, air, air travel even safer than it already is. Congressman Bocheri, thank you so much for your time today and for the work you're doing thank on you. this. Well, a shocking scene and an unfortunate